The state government has been rocked by a damning report into school sex abuse just a month out from the state election. Compiled by a parliamentary committee, it's made 11 recommendations on how children could be better protected. It's an issue that's dogged the government for more than a year. Ultimately, the buck should stop and rest on the desk of the minister. First, there was the scathing report from the DeBell inquiry. Today came the final report of a parliamentary committee. It recommended more face-to-face -face child protection training for teachers, stricter reporting guidelines and greater communication between the education department and the minister. So you can't have ministers saying, I knew nothing about it. The police and Telstra are still conducting an electronic search to try and find an email that advised the office of the then Education Minister, Jay Wetherill, of the rape of a young girl at a western suburb school. If found, the opposition wants the mystery email recipient made public before the election. And it would be hard to justify from Jay Wetherill's viewpoint as to why he wouldn't give that approval, unless of course he's fearful of that information becoming public prior to election day. They will be matters uh, if they come out during the caretaker mode that will be uh, dealt with by the Chief Executive of the Department of Premier and Cabinet. The government says it's already acted on a number of the DeBell recommendations, maintaining the parliamentary inquiry was simply a political exercise. As far as I can see, nothing came out of it that wasn't uh, dealt with in the DeBell report. Kim Robertson, Nine News.